Hello everybody, so today I am bringing you 5 fragrances that you have to have in your collection and plus, these are cheap. Starting off with the first one on the list, this is Latifa Facher. Latifa Facher is a woody, aromatic scent. This fragrance has a pretty good impression around people and has notes of lavender, sage, amberwood, and tonka bean. Now, this fragrance is a clone of YSLY Eau de Parfum. Some people say it smells like Invictus, some people say it smells like Mont Blanc Spirit. I personally don't agree. I think most closely it resembles YSLY Eau de Parfum. And there's a little difference though. In YSLY Eau de Parfum, the opening is such a strong opening of this fresh apple. And I believe it might be additional of like a heaviness of sage that makes that opening so bright and strong and just it packs a punch. This fragrance, on the other hand, it's a bit weaker on the opening. It's not as strong. It doesn't hit as hard as, as YSLY Eau de Parfum. But it still lasts a quite a long time. Doesn't project as heavily as you would imagine being a clone of YSL Wild of Parfum. That fragrance is a beast. Number four on the list is Al Harmain Detour Noir. Now let's get past this ugly bottle. Aside from the ugly bottle, the fragrance is actually really nice. It smells like Leighton from Parfums de Marly and that's what they were trying to go for. However, if you look at the notes for this fragrance, it almost doesn't really have much apart from like vanilla that's similar to Leighton's uh, note breakdown, but it still smells just like Leighton. Now I will say one thing again, just like how Facher had its own thing. This one, I'm gonna say compared to Leighton um, by Parfums de Marly, is that this one skips the whole opening. It kind of goes right into the mid, right into the dry down of Leighton. But it does it so well, and it's very cheap too. I forgot to mention that Facher is $20, but it's for some reason tough to find now. But this fragrance is easier to find. It's about $30, um, and I got it for like 32, 33 from Fragrance Buy. This fragrance smells just like Leighton. It's got strong longevity. It's got decent performance uh, in terms of projection. And overall, I mean, people really like this. And I'd highly recommend if you're not willing to spend like at least 250, 300 on Leighton, then I'd recommend getting this one because it's only like $30. And if you really like Leighton, give this one a try. You probably might like it too, and you might consider buying it. Number three is Afnan Ornament. Now this fragrance can run you about $30, uh, 30 USD by the way, 30 United States dollars. Um, but this fragrance has a beautiful apple opening, such a nice and refreshing apple opening. But what's weird is when I look online, uh, in terms of the chords that people get off this, they usually say warm, spicy, woody, but those aren't the main accords I smell. I mainly smell a bit of florals, a bit of apple, a huge amount actually of apple in the opening. But then as it dries down, it becomes a bit more floral and a little bit more warm and spicy. And that's where I see what people are talking about. This one is a projection beast and it lasts a long time. I'd highly recommend this fragrance if you're looking for something that's a bit more apple, a bit more warm spicy to add to your collection. And when spring comes up, this I think will be a great fragrance for that. Number two on the list is Rojas Mustache EDP. I know you guys have probably seen this fragrance a lot, but I was recommending this one early on, and when I first got it, I was really impressed of how similar it is to YSL Tuxedo. And that's a fragrance that I guess they were trying to clone, um, but they ended up actually doing a better job because this fragrance lasts way longer. I think this fragrance is way more of a reason to buy versus YSL Tuxedo, and they do it so well. This fragrance has vanilla, amber, woody uh, chords, and it has notes such as pink pepper, cedar wood, benzoin, and vanilla. And this fragrance, it's a great vanilla heavy fragrance um, that has a nice bit of pink pepper that 
really smooths, is that the right word? Really smoothens out the fragrance. Um, and the vanilla is really, really joyful. It's really warm. It's really cozy and it lasts a long time. Trust me. This fragrance is a beast in terms of longevity and uh, in terms of projection. It's a beauty of a fragrance. I'd highly recommend it. And it's only about $35, $40, so a little bit more than the other ones. But I think you're getting a whole lot of quality. All right, the number one is Ejazian Intensive Silver from Latifa. This fragrance is such a beautiful masculine fragrance. It's like pretty much the ideal of what I want to smell like as a guy. It is a beautiful fragrance. It's only $16. If you want to stand out and you want to smell masculine, and I'm not talking about masculine in terms of oud heavy or just that darkness. I mean, this fragrance is woody, but it's such a delicate woodiness and it's got citrus in there as well uh, from the mandarin orange and it's got some other notes such as amber and aquatic notes and overall i think this is a really great fragrance especially for the price point i cannot believe this fragrance is 17 16 dollars it's such a beautiful fragrance for any guy out there and i'm not describing it like beautiful like i don't know like it's a girly scent it's actually a really casual masculine scent like this smells like almost the perfect out of the shower fragrance um, that you can rock anytime anywhere any place only just to drop $16 I'll, I'll take it this fragrance is a long-lasting fragrance and it projects quite nicely in the opening and then it kind of calms down pretty quick however the longevity is what pulls it through a lot of people say that this was um, cloning uh, YSLY, La Nuit de l'Homme, Blue Electrique, or um, it was cloning La Nuit de l'Homme by uh, Yves Saint Laurent. But to me, it doesn't really smell like that. It just smells like a traditional masculine scent that is just done so well, especially for the price point. So I'd highly recommend a Jazzy Intensive Silver if you haven't got a chance to try it out. And if you're willing to Give it a shot. Hey, it's a great blind buy. I'm not recommending to blind buy, but $16. Hey, there's no $16 better spent than these. But that was the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got that one friend that's uh, looking for cheap fragrances or something to buy pretty quick that doesn't need too much thought, and they're pretty cheap too, give them a share, send them this video, let them know what's some nice five fragrances for them to buy.